Welcome to White Lecture Online. Our next example is actually a really good example. Notice that it's quite a complex fraction. And how do we go about simplifying it? Well, first of all, what you need to do is recognize all the denominators. We have an n plus 1, and then minus 1, n plus 1, n minus 1. So you can see there's clearly two different denominators, which means that the LCD is equal to n plus 1 times n minus 1, the product of the two individual denominators. So now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the LCD. So multiply this times n plus 1 times n minus 1 and multiply this, the denominator, by n plus 1 times n minus 1. Okay. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, let's go ahead and multiply everything through. We're going to multiply this by the first fraction and with the second fraction. Same over here, first fraction and second fraction. When we do that, we get the following. This is 5 times n plus 1 times n minus 1 all divided by n plus 1. And that's minus 1 time n plus 1 times n minus 1 all divided by n minus 1. So that's the numerator, and then we divide that all by the denominator, 1 times n plus 1 times n minus 1, all divided by n plus 1, minus 2 times n plus 1, n minus 1, all divided by n minus 1. Now why did we put that additional step in there? Well, we did that so it makes it easier to see what can now be cancelled out. Notice we have an n plus 1 here, cancels out with n plus 1. We have an n minus 1 that cancels out with n minus 1. n minus, whoop, no, this doesn't cancel out, that's the wrong one. This, that was n. And it's the n plus 1s that cancel out. And over here we have an n minus 1 cancels out with an n minus 1. After we do that, what do we have left? So now you can see that this is equal to 5 times n minus 1 divided by, well, not divided by anything, it's divided by 1. So we can go ahead and we no longer have a denominator. So here we have minus 1 times n plus 1 all divided by, here we have 1 times n minus 1 minus 2 times n plus 1. And now all we have to do is multiply everything in the numerator and denominator and collect common terms. So this becomes equal to 5n minus 5 minus n minus 1 all divided by n minus 1 and minus 2n and minus 2. Now let's collect common terms. We have 5n minus n which is equal to 4n minus 5 minus 1 that's equal to minus 6 divided by here we have minus n and we have minus 3. All right, and we could factor out a 2 out of the numerator. We could end up writing it like this, 2 times 2n minus 3 divided by minus n minus 3. And so that would then be the most simplified form. Now notice we really didn't need to put this step in here. I mean, if it helps and you can see how to cancel things, by all means, go ahead and do that. Sometimes we can simply look at this right here and write the following thing. We can say we're going to multiply this times this and the n plus 1's cancel out, so we're left with 5 times n minus 1. Minus, here we multiply this times this, the n minus 1's cancel out, and we're left with 1 times n plus 1. Divided by, here, notice we multiply this times this, the n plus 1's cancel out, and we're left with 1 times n minus 1, and here the n minus 1's cancel out, and we're left with minus 2 times n plus 1. Notice we end up with the exact same thing that we had over here, but we didn't need to write this intermediate step. Now, what you do here is really what you prefer. If you rather multiply everything out like this and write it out so it's easier to see what's canceled, by all means do it that way. If you feel comfortable and you don't need to write this step, and you can simply look at it and see what is eliminated, then go ahead and skip that step. Again, it's always dangerous to skip, to skip steps because sometimes it makes it 
easier to make mistakes and that's one thing you don't want to do. But notice this is the way it can be done either by writing it out or by just visualizing it and simplifying cancel it in your head like that. And that is how it's done.